Hey guys, welcome back to Adventure Camp and Tactical Nut here with a folding saw review. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, my very first folding saw review for this channel. Um, now, I want to start with apologizing. I know I haven't filmed in a while uh, as far as doing any camp and hiking reviews and stuff. Um, but I'll be honest with you, I had developed a cyst on the inside of my lip. Um, and so when I would talk, it kind of looked like I had a dip in my mouth. And that was. After I, I had filmed this review, another review and stuff, after going back and watching the footage, it was like, no. <laughs> Alright. Um, but, so, why did I pick Bach when everybody else in the world has done the Baco Loplander? You know, they got the silky saw and stuff. Well, personally, I wanted to get one that was budget friendly and also hasn't been done to death, right? Everybody and their brother has done the Baco Laplander, and we know it's good. We know it's a good saw, it's not very expensive, um, but I wanted to try something else. So what I did, I went with Buck, right? Now, three major reasons why I went with Buck. One, made in the USA. Two, the steel on this saw is a 5160. I love 5160 steel. And three, this one hadn't been done to death, right? I was looking on YouTube and I really couldn't find anybody that has done a review on it except for like one or two unboxings. So, you know, kind of a win-win, right? Not so fast, really. Not so much. Because... Made in China. I didn't expect that. <laughs> I really just... I was automatically assuming Buck, made in the USA, yay, you know, was really excited, got it, was like, ah, oh, crap. But, don't be disappointed. Why you ask? Well, I'll get to it, but first we'll start with the specs like I normally do. Um, we have a six inch blade. This is about eight and a quarter inches closed, 14 inches open. As you can see here, hit the button and you will close it. And I kind of like it just because you can also fling it out like you do a pocket knife. As you can see, you can angle up, angle like this. Um, now, I haven't done a lot of cutting with it like this, but it does work. So, just so you know, I just hadn't had the need to cut it that angle or whatever. Um, and I will tell you, uh, one of my camping trips I was out and I was just uh, blazing hot when I was doing some Mossberg testing at the Yates campground. Uh, so I was just really trying to just power through some uh, logs to get some firewood going. Um, and they had bent the tip of the saw and but to show you right here, I mean, there's barely anybody left to use some screwdrivers, I mean, uh, pliers, uh, somewhat doing it by hand. Then I started just kind of doing more cutting. And as you can see, I mean, there's almost no bend in it whatsoever anymore. And it was, I mean, it wasn't horrible, but it was bent, you know, maybe over here. Um, but I tell you what, I mean, yeah, made in China, ABS plastic handle, 4.4 ounces. So the weight is outstanding. I mean, there's pocket knives out there that are 4.4 ounces. I have some that are 4.4 ounces. Um, but this thing just powers through some wood. I'll tell you what, I've liked it so much. I'm not going camping or hiking without it ever again. Um, why have I not used a folding saw? Well, because I always have a lot of knives with me, right? I'm always testing and reviewing. I always have some large knives. They can chop it. They can. Uh, process it, you know, feather stick it, they can do all that stuff. Um, but what I noticed with this is this saves me so much time chopping to get the big logs off the process down. Um, so what I'll do is I'll back the camera up, change the angle, uh, saw through a couple different size logs. I got a two inch log and a three inch log here, show you how fast that would go through. Um, I mean, because this is soft, I mean, there's not any bells or whistles, but. Um, so hopefully you'll kind of get a good idea of what it can do. Be right. All right, ladies and gentlemen, as I said, got two different size logs here. This one is a two inch, three inch log. And yes, I did take a tape measure and measure them just so I would be accurate in describing it. But what I'm gonna do, just cut through both of them uh, just to show you how well uh, these eat through wood. I mean, obviously, like I said, not a lot to show off so to speak <laughs>
fast, right? I mean, yes, this takes no time at all. The three inch log. Too bad, huh? I mean, I've been impressed with it. I'll tell you what, I mean, I even use it to uh, cut firewoods in the wo uh, wood near my house um, so we can use it on the fire pit. But another ba benefit to having a folding saw is it's not just for cutting large chunks. Um, there are some, you know, bushcraft applications for something like this. So, show you real quick uh, an easy. Just steady up the deck as opposed to the dirt. As you can see, you can even use this for uh, larger type notching and stuff that you may need to do. Uh, I mean, especially if you're the type that likes to build a lot of things at your campsite instead of bringing them with you. Um, you know, obviously once you have it more stable on the ground, it does it a lot faster, but trying to do it on the slick deck, not as quick as I want it. but. And I'm sure you can get a pretty good idea of how useful this is. Um, now, as you can see, sometimes when I do go close it, it does get a little off centered on the way back in because I had bent the tip. <laughs> but, I mean, I just push it back over. So, no fault of the saw. That was my doing and uh, my own fault. But I'll tell you what, I mean, this thing. I've used it a lot, and it is still flying through the wood. So, like I said, I mean, I do love 5160 steel. Um, I have multiple knives in it. Love it. They always hold a good edge, and it's tough still. So, another great thing about it, because like I said, I mean, I bent that pretty good, and still brought it back pretty close to uh, its original alignment. So, all right, guys, the buck folding saw. Got mine at the cutlery shop for I think it was $18.75 so not a bad price either um, not gonna break the bank you've got buck craftsmanship and quality uh, the buck guarantee as you see here on the box the forever warranty so you know you break it or you know I won't say you break it but you have some kind of manufacturing detect, de defect you know, Buck, I mean, it's a very reputable company. They're going to take care of you. All right, guys. Hope this helps you in purchasing a new folding saw. I highly recommend this one. I really do. Um, like I said, I know the Baco Lot Planner is really good. It's close to the same price. But 
I love this steel. I love how lightweight it is. The only thing I would change, oh, it does have a lanyard hole. I don't know if I mentioned that. Um, <laughs> would be to have a sheath, but you know, there's so many ammo pouches and stuff that you can buy for your pack, um, sheets and stuff like that. That it's not too hard to find one to fit a sheet. But yeah, I'm extremely happy with it. I think you will be too. So if you're looking for one, how about giving Buck a try instead of Baco for a change? I think you will be impressed, happy with your decision. In the meantime, be prepared, have fun.